night until the morning. Okay. Hey, can you grab uh, Deuteronomy 24, 14? Hey, but, but it says that the wages of him that is hired shall not abide with you. you su yeah, he's supposed to pay them that same day. You're supposed to pay them that same day. As soon as they finish their work, man, you're supposed to pay them. Hey, but the so-called white man likes to hold your check for a whole half of a month. Then he don't even give you all of it. And he got to take his share out of it first. So, so here it is. You're making, uh, and then they got tax brackets. So depending on the, the amount of money that you make, a, a person, let's say for instance, a person make that, that makes uh, five hundred dollars every two weeks versus a person that makes two thousand dollars every two weeks, they're going to end up only being able to live. They, they're going to live the same lifestyle because they're only going to just uh, have a, have enough just to get by. That person that makes two thousand dollars because of the lifestyle that they live, they're only going to have enough to get some food, pay their bills. Not enough to save. The, a person that makes $500 every two weeks are only going to have enough to get some food and pay their bills and not enough to save. And a so-called white man strategically designed a system like that to, to keep you working in it, man, so that you can always be a slave. Now who wants to be a goddamn slave in this place for the rest of their life, man? You got to be out of your mind. And then you got niggas that want to take the mark of the beast because they love the so-called white man. And, and then they got uh, also, let's say if you're good at hustling, you don't need a job. You just, you're just good at hustling. If you make so much money, Esau want to know where the fuck you're getting your money from. <laughs> so, right, he going to want like, you got 20000 a year by yourself? Motherfucker, let, let's, let's audit that shit. Where, where the fuck you get this money from? You can't receive uh, too much. You, like, you can't even, like, let's say uh, somebody uh, gives you, uh, like, let's say, a certain amount of money. They got to they gotta yeah. know where the hell that money is coming from. Yeah, right. And they don't even know what's smart. Why you put a rent on your car? Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, conspicuous consumption. Uh -huh. They've been poor for so long and they don't have nothing, so they want to let the world know that they have money. All right, okay. So what they do, they go and buy the most expensive clothes, they go and buy the most expensive car, they go and buy the most expensive hair hats. Yeah, we Just so that they can show people that they have money. Right. They got to have iPhones. They gotta have all the new Jordans that come out. Yeah. Meanwhile, they need a new water heater. The fucking stove don't work. Yeah. But they got the newest J's on. They Still living at home with their yeah, mama. They have the best uh, fucking vehicle. Oh, the they got the, got the cleanest lineup. <laughs> but everything internally is wrong with them. Their body's all fucked up. Their house is fucked up. But they want to look flashy on the outside for the world. That's why the scriptures say in John, I think it's uh, 17 and 9. It's like if I'm wrong. Don't love the world. You know, love not the world, neither the things that are uh, therein. You know, the love of the world is enmity. It's it's enmity yeah. with the world. Well, that's, it. that's in Ephesians. Yeah. Hey, the, the love of the world, hey, you, you're adulterous and adulterous. Yeah. Hey, the love of the world is, it, is enmity with the most high. Yeah, James, four, James, four. like it. It's in James. You're right. You're right. Take the water for that. The water for the food. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, the scriptures say, let the, let the righteous smite me, man. Yeah. Or let, or let the righteous uh, reprove me, man. And it, it, Lord willing, his brother's a righteous brother. And he just he just rebuked me on the on the, on the scripture. I just went off on. And I accept that, man. You want to know why? Because I ain't proud. You got that? Okay. Uh, Deuteronomy 24 and 14. Okay. That shall not oppress. Mm, that shall not oppress <laughs> the hired servants <laughs> that is poor and needy, whether he be of thy brethren or, or, or if thy strangers that are in thy land with thy, within thy gates. Right. Hey, we're strangers in the, in the, in the land of, uh, of America, and yet we're being oppressed. And we're being oppressed. What's the slave's uh, wages? Debt. It's, it's debt, debt, right? No. Go, hey, can you read that one more time? Deuteronomy 24 and 14. Thou shalt not oppress an hired servant that is poor and needy. And, and, and uh, oppress, it means what? Yeah, you, you're, you're not paying him his wages. You're not, get, you're not giving him what he worked for. 
Hey, so guess what? In the eyes of your how about Shimmy, I was shot, you a murderer. He grabbed that in Surat. Uh, the 34. Yep, 34 and 21. This is, uh, you can read it to 22. This is, uh, Surat chapter 34, starting from verse 21. The bread of the needy is their life. He that defraudeth him thereof is a man of blood. There you go. So Esau is a what? And he's a man of blood. And because he's defrauding you of your wages. By way of making you wait forever to get your paycheck. And then when you finally do get it, he took all the money out of it. What? Hey, who the, who the fuck is FICA? <laughs> I don't even know who the motherfuckers is. I don't know no goddamn FICA. <laughs> Verse, verse 22, he that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him, and he that departeth the labor of his hire is a bloodshedder. And then isn't Esau a bloodshedder? Doesn't he love blood? And didn't he sell his, sell his uh, birthright, sell his soul, sell his whole nation out for a pot of uncooked meat? And isn't he a man of war? Their name is Edom, Red. Edom. That's hey, all they see. Ezekiel uh, 35 and 5. Yeah. <laughs> that's all they see and that's all they know is blood. Whether they're and literally it, killing you or spiritually killing you. And this, it, this isn't enough for the so-called white man. For him to break inside of your paycheck and take your money. For him to put our people in slavery. He wants to enslave the whole world, right? Can you grab uh, Revelations 13 and 16? What is Ezekiel? Huh? Ezekiel or Ezekiel? Yeah, it's that dog. 35 and 5. Oh, the brother's brother. Revelation 13 and 16. It be because it, this isn't enough for the so-called white man to, to uh, put you in slavery in that regard. And he, now, now he wants to chip you. That way he know for sure, hey, I got you in slavery for the rest of your life. But you simple ass niggas, you simple ass niggas, you gonna go ahead and take the chip? Why? Because you love this so-called white man, like that, like the cool ass, black ass nigga driving in the truck, talking about oh, some, sure. some old Arab shit, and, and then he gonna say vote for Donald Trump, nigga. <laughs> make no sense. Hey, we vote, we vote for your how about shit, your shine, man. That's right. That's right. We elect those missiles to come and, and, and fucking burn this place up, man. Ass. Hey, the mo, hey, the most high's gonna send no missiles. To check off America like a square on the ballot. That's right. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, 35. Hey, you take that chip, man. You fucking done. That's you, right. You're going to be destroyed. Hey, the scripture says that in Revelations, the 14th chapter. That's right. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had, sorry, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. There you go. Hey, Esau has a perpetual hatred for the children of Israel, and hey, so he tries to slay, uh, slay them in any chance that they that he can. And hey, he spills the blood of Israel any way that he can, whether it's through def defrauding them of their food, their water, their shelter, their house, their clothing, throwing them in prison. Whether it's breaking into their paycheck and stealing all of the money that they that they uh, honestly worked for, man, with their blood, sweat, and tears, or whether it's physically killing them, because they still slaying you niggas in the street and y'all want to befriend them, you want to be buddy buddy with the goddamn enemy, man. Fuck you and fuck Esau, man. That's right. You know what? I say something about that. I got a testimony on that. Hold your peace. Because uh, my grandma, she used to work for uh, Chevron, a big uh, oil company, and she literally uh, like broke her fucking back working. Like She had a couple of discs knocked out of place because 75 pounds of bags fell on her, right? And then they terminated, uh, terminated her, which is illegal. You, know, you can't terminate someone who's injured uh, on your job. And so they like they tried to completely uh, take her off the record books, tried to like just... They, they wanted to give her hush money and like uh, just shove her off to the side. They didn't want a big lawsuit. But my grandma, she got a, a lawyer, had a big lawsuit, so now she's getting paid for the rest of her life. But basically, the point that I'm making, you know, Esau, he doesn't give a shit about you. You know, you can be the, you can be a, a great worker. You can do everything you can for Esau. You can give him your best, your 110 percent. 
and then he'll just discard you like a like a fucking piece of paper towel. You stole the trash can. You don't even look back at it. He, he's, what was you about to say, brother? Yeah, he's red. Yeah. What, what, now, so, now I have a question for you. The reason why I asked that, that is that how the Europeans came? Yes, it, it, yes. That's right. That's right. You're right. See, I'm Islam. My name is oh, okay. Blake Bay. Yeah, well, if you if you if you if you if you're Islam, if you're Islam, I'm gonna tell you this ain't for you. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> go go ahead with that. I ain't trying to be rude, bro. bro. Hey, there's a the camp right down don't the street. Don't cast you know, me out yet. Let well, me speak. Uh, I ain't casting you all, I'm just saying. If you're I'm Islam, if that's if that's what if that's where your heart so is at, what, what, this ain't for you. Right. What is this? This is Christianity? No, this is this is Israelites. Yeah, that's right. we 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 so practice it, it, let, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 bro, wait. Alright? We we practice something that, that that's ancient, that came before Islam. It when when you read the the holy book of the most high heavenly father, right? Cause, Cause, when you're Islam, they believe that there was prophesied that three books would come, right? When you, first of all, the 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 uh, the, the Quran doesn't agree with the Bible. When you read the Bible, the, the Lord said He requires that which is ancient. That which is ancient is we were known as Israelites before our people converted into Islam. So, as a divine man, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm very intelligent. You are to use a very intelligent mind, man. But do you know who wrote the first five books of the Bible? We, yes, we know who wrote the five oh, books of the Bible. Masha, Moses. And now, but now, but the question is what? The question no, is. I just want to know. The question who is. Who was aware? Like the, I was. The question is what? What color was it? Was he? Was he red? Like they displayed in the, in the Ten Commandments movie with Charles so Hess. He was darker than me. The, there you go. And he was a dark. He was a dark man. Now, now to continue the and lesson, this, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry to be breaking. It's all, right. it's all good. I'm nice there. Go ahead. Nice there. This is Revelations 13 and 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. And there you go. So if you love the so-called white man, you're going to receive that mark, man. It wasn't enough for him to rip you off and put you in slavery. But but now, but but, but now, and he wants to go a step further than that. He wants to enslave the whole wide world. And, and, and by way of the scriptures, he knows that what he's doing is the mark of the beast. And guess, and he's going to try to, he's going to try to present it to you tribes. A lot of you tribes is going to take it. Hey, but those that love your how about Shimmy Awashai isn't gonna take it, man. Sorry. Those that are occupied in prophecy isn't gonna take it, man. Can you grab uh cause, cause that's that's another way that they that they slay our people, man. That's another way that they're gonna slay our people. Hey, and the people that don't want to receive that mark, guess what? They're gonna be handled. Can you grab Revelations uh, 3 and 10? You can grab it yourself. Yeah. This is Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Oh, yeah, that just, for all y'all man cursing ass niggas, for everybody, you know, that were close ass to the white man. And this and that, that's all inclusive. That's for the wicked two thirds of our people, as well as in chiefly um, so called white man Esau. Esau Edom. He's going down. Can you grab uh, 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 Exodus 21 and 6? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of. Because you got our people that do love the so called white man. They're joining hand in hand. Like them niggas that, that vote and think that their vote counts. That think that they can they can change something by way of vote, and when when everything is already written in prophecy, right. even even the people that are set up to be the, the rulers of this place, even the, even the place, this fucking clamor says nigga woman, even the rulers that are set up to rule throughout the whole world were set up by Yahweh Bashimi Shai. and Yahweh Bashimi Shai, he said he set up the Assyrians. He set up the Babylonians. 
He set up the uh, the, uh, the Greeks, and he set up the Romans. He set up the so-called white man that's ruling today. Just how he set up Pharaoh. And he told Pharaoh, 